Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions, and today we're going to go over track locking in Reaper. Now, track locking is a good thing to have. Um, you're working on a, a massive project, and, and you might accidentally shift things around. I know. I've done it. I continue to do it because I keep forgetting sometimes to turn it on, but we can go, we're going to go over a couple of the settings in there. Some of them I'm not sure what they do, but we will test them out. So when you go load your uh, session into Reaper up at the top over here, there's a lock button. You can click on that, which will enable locking. Now you want to right click on it to open up the dialog box. Right now it says to time selection. I don't have a time selection, but I want to prevent left and right. And I'm clicking and dragging on all the tracks and they're not going anywhere. But I can move, whoops, that was not good. And uh, I think there might be a lock for that. I don't know, let's, we shall find out. But I should be able to move, I can move them up and down still. So I'm going to right click back on the lock button and prevent up and down movement too. That's usually ma mainly the thing that uh, you want to set the most is prevent left and right and prevent up and down. So we're going to look at the other stuff. You can lock to a time, lock a time selection and we drag a time selection and see what that does because I don't have a clue. I've never used it before. Lock the time selection. So what does that do? Does that, or does it just lock the selection so I can't move it? Whoops. Okay, maybe it locks the time, so let me turn it off and see if I can. Yep, it just locks your time selection from moving. It doesn't affect any of your tracks unless you've got left and right and up and down locked as well. So that's good to know. Next one, item edges. So I guess when they talk about item edges, it's the edges of your items. See, I can like drag this over and back. So we'll see what that does. Turn it back on. Item edges. I can't even, there's no little arrow where I can drag left or if I scroll over here, I can't do anything. I can't mess with the ends, the beginning or the end of the tracks. Next one, item fade and volume handles. Let's see, seeing as I actually accidentally gained a track down earlier, We'll see if that prevents that too. Yep, I can't, I can't select the volume handle in the center that I have and the fades. Let me go to the end and then I can't move the fades. Oops, I keep turning it off. I don't have any item stretch markers, but I'm pretty sure if you lock that, any kind of Stretch markers you have in, you won't be able to accidentally hit move and change their uh, change where they're at. Item envelopes. I know I've got some volume automation somewhere down here. Ah, uh, shoot, that didn't work. Let's see. I'm not sure what that's for then. I, oh wait, this track envelopes. Yep, yeah, now the track envelopes are locked. I don't know what the item envelopes are. If anybody knows what item envelopes are, please let me know in the comment section below. Aha, I do have some time stretch markers. I forgot. So we'll check that real quick. Where'd it go? Item stretch markers. They are now no longer visible. And now they are. As you can see over here, um, 
I did set some stretch markers on this track. So when I click that button, they're gone. You can't, you can't grab them or select them anymore. Regions, I do not have regions set up, but regions are usually up in this top little gray area right here. Like when you sort out like intro, verse, chorus, pre-chorus, outro, all of that, you, it, you won't be able to move those. At least that's what I'm guessing. Markers, I do have a marker at the beginning and I should not be able to move it. And I can't. Because it grayed it out a little bit. And time signature markers. So I'm guessing if you've got like a tempo map in here, I don't. But, and I don't have, I don't have a project open that does have a tempo map in it. So this could lock your markers, your tempo markers. And you just enable it and you can also lock the entire project items full you can't do anything with the tracks right click that off loop points hmm let me see something that might be I wonder if that's when you drag a selection and you loop down here in the transport turn it back up on. where to go loop points okay yeah I can't that's what it is if you've got looping enabled and you have a time selection you can't or wait let me make sure double check nope if you have a time selection and you're looping a certain section, you can lock lock it. But I'm not, I wonder if that also locks this from being moved. It does. So you can't move the time selection at all, and you can't move the edges of the time selection. And that was our trip through the locking action in Reaper. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Um, how do you use your track locking? Do you use it all the time? Have you never heard about it? Never done anything with it? Let me also know in the comments section below and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.